enterprise, freedom of expression, elections, because when there are elections, people tend to vote for peace. They don't vote for war. So we wanted to promote those principles around the world. We recognize that there are places of conflict in the world. We want to end those conflicts to the extent humanly possible. But in order to be able to fulfill our role in the world, America must be strong. America must lead. And for that to happen, we have to strengthen our economy here at home. You can't have 23 million people struggling to get a job. You, you can't have an economy that over the last three years keeps slowing down its growth rate. You can't have kids coming out of college, half of whom can't find a job today, or a job that's commensurate with their college degree. We have to get our economy going. And our military, we've got to strengthen our military long term. We don't know what the world is going to throw at us down the road. We, we make decisions today in the military that, that will confront challenges we can't imagine. In the 2000 debates, uh, there was no mention of terrorism, for instance. And a year later, 9-11 happened. So we have to make decisions based upon uncertainty. And that means a strong military. I will not cut a military budget. We have to also stand by our allies. I, I think the tension that existed between Israel and the United States was very unfortunate. I think also that pulling our missile defense a program out of Poland in the way we did was also unfortunate in terms of, uh, if, if you will, disrupting the, the, the relationship in some ways that existed between us. And then, of course, with regards to standing for our principles, when, when the students took to the streets in Tehran and the people there protested, the Green Revolution occurred. For the president to be silent, I thought, was an enormous mistake. We have to stand for our principles, stand for our allies, stand for a strong military, and stand for a stronger economy. Mr. President. America remains the one indispensable nation, and the world needs a strong America, and it is stronger now than when I came into office. Because we ended the war in Iran, we were able to refocus our attention on not only the terrorist threat, but also beginning a transition process in that area. It also allowed us to refocus on alliances, relationships that have been neglected for a decade. And Governor Romney, our alliances have never been stronger in Asia, in Europe, in Africa, with Israel, where we have unprecedented military uh, and intelligence cooperation, including dealing with the Iranian threat. But what we also have been able to do is position ourselves so we can start rebuilding America. And that's what my plan does, making sure that we're bringing manufacturing back to our shores.